Welcome to Book of Acts Now Global School and Global Church. We're glad that you're here with us to join us as our continuing study in uh, the Hebrew alphabet. Today we're looking at the third letter, Dalit. It means uh, door, path, or to enter, or way. Primarily it means door. And so what we're going to observe as we look at this is the, the door is the place where covenant is applied. You remember the Passover, uh, they put blood on the doorpost and the angel passed over. And so whenever you see Dalit being used, it usually is connected some way to covenant. So we'll keep that in mind. So the first uh, word we're looking at today is judge. And judge is made up of two letters. We have the Dalit. This uh, is the A, the valve. And this is the noon, and, uh, which means N. And so if you put that together, D-A-N, Dan. And so judge. Now, the tribe of Dan were judges. So uh, what does it mean? Well, this is the door. This means life, right? So a judge is the door to life. Now, why would that be the case, that judge is the door to life? You know, Christ said, I came to bring life, and he's the ultimate judge. And, and so we understand that he, he, what he wants for us is life. That's why he came. All right, so knowledge is our next uh, word, and it's made up of three letters. The Dalit, this, is, uh, this would be E, and, um, and then this is um, Ion. And there should be an A under this. So, so this would be actually spelled D-E-A. There's no, there's no sound here. Okay, so it's a Dia. Yeah. yeah. So this actually means, what is knowledge? This is important because it tells us where true knowledge comes from. This is the door of the covenant that lets you see. This is Ion, means to see. This means to declare, reveal, revelation. So the door of the covenant lets you see revelation. So true knowledge always has to do with being in covenant or relationship with God. True, Because where does true knowledge come from? It comes from Him. So if you profess to be an atheist and you're getting all your knowledge from science but denying God, you're a fool. Because God is the creator of all creation. And he is the one who creates all knowledge that you are able to observe. Amen. And in fact, you are able to have principles um, that you can observe that are consistent. Because God designed it that way. It's creative design. And so to, to, to deny that there is creative design. There is someone behind all of what we see that's observable in the universe is to deny true knowledge. Religion. Okay, so we have D, A, and this is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, and so, Tav means uh, covenant. So, this is door of the covenant. Religion, true religion, has to do with opening the door to having a covenant with God through Christ. And so if, if that's not where you're at, you may have religion, but it's not true religion. Amen. Those who say, well, you know, the New Age movement, um, every, every religion leads to God. It doesn't matter what path you choose. Well, that's nonsense. It's not true religion. This is pronounced D-A-T, dat, religion. Okay, way, this is made up of three letters. This is the Dalit, the E, the R, the E, and, and this is the Sufet ending of um, Chet, C-H. Yeah, so um, this is pronounced D-E-R-E-C-H, Dirach, Dirach. So what does that mean? What does the way mean? Now, they call the early followers of Christ the way. So what does that mean? This is the door of the highest person. Remember Christ said, I am the door, I am the way. The door of the highest person to enter the secret place. If you want to enter the secret place, you must follow the way. You can't just get in there any way you want. And the way is Christ. 
So if you want to enter the secret place, you have to come through him. Amen. Amen. That's why I said nobody comes to the Father except by me. Only way. He's the only way. Amen. Yes, amen. Okay, blood. Only two letters make up blood. It's so important because it has to do with covenant, the forgiveness of sins, atonement, all these things. Made up of two letters. And we have this. We have the Dalit. Of course, this would be the A. This is the Mem. And in this case, it means the door to the massive waters of life. Blood. Massive waters. How much of the body is made up of water? Over 90%. Yeah. And so, the massive, the blood has to do with the massive waters of life. Well, water in the natural has to do with um, our, be our being, because we're made up mainly of water. But think of this, your spiritual being, who you are in Christ, has to do with his blood so that you can participate in the massive waters of life that he releases. Amen. Restore. Okay, so we have three letters. This, this is Chet, the secret place. This is Dalit, the door. And what is this? This thing looks like a W with a dot. Shin. And, and this means fire that consumes. Uh, Kadosh. What does that mean? The secret place of the door is fire. Who? Why would that be the case? The Bible says that God is an all-consuming fire. And, he, and when Christ said, go into your closet and close the door for your Father is waiting for you, the all-consuming fire is waiting for you. And so if you come into His presence, here's what happens. He starts consuming the sin and your life and anything that can't be in His presence gets consumed when you abide in his presence. That's why it's important that we spend time with the Father. The secret places. So when you enter through the door of Christ into his presence, the fire begins to work Amen. in your life. Amen? Yes. So just a quick review. The judge is the door to, to life. You know, that's important because if you really want life, Ask God to show you what you need to see in your life so that he can expose and remove. And you can confess and surrender. You're experiencing the work of the judge. Okay, knowledge. At the door of the covenant sees, uh, sees revelation. True knowledge has to do with comes from God. Yeah, you can observe it. You can study science. But true revelation comes from the knowledge he's given and then he reveals religion, the door of the covenant, true religion. He is the way, the door of the highest person to enter the secret place with the Father, the blood, the door of massive waters of life, and to restore the secret of the door is fire, which is the Father. Amen. So let's ask God to bless us as we study that, meditate on that this week. That we will grow in our understanding using the building blocks of the Bible, which is Hebrew. Because even in the New Testament, Christ was speaking not in Greek. He was speaking in Hebrew or Aramaic, which is similar. So, Father, we ask that you will bless us this week as we continue to study your word. Use the tools that we're learning to come closer to you and to know you in all your ways, we pray. In Christ Yeshua's name, amen. 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 Yeah.